Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh and welcome to Studio Production. Today I am going to talk about the green screen. Why do we need a green screen? We need a green screen for replacing or to replace the background of our subject. We use this green screen technology in film and also in studio production for virtual studio uh, production or shooting. All right. The most important thing in green screen in using a green screen is first and foremost the equipment that we need first and foremost the green screen itself and then the lighting and then last but not least the camera that we are going to use for shooting all right first the green screen why the color green normally the screen the color that we use for green screen is either green or blue because these two colors is the most is the furthest from skin color or skin tone human skin tone this is the furthest color from human skin tone so when we chroma key the green color in editing we will not have problem on this on the skin all okay. right from the green screen what is the most important thing when shooting in green screen is that we need the green screen to be flat as possible and tight like this all right and we have to avoid having any shadow cast on the screen because we need an even color of green on the screen so in using green screen we have two types of lighting that we need to set up the first uh, the first setup is for the screen as you can see we are using um, two general lights on the studio to light the screen so that we have an even color of green we do not we have to avoid um, having a bright side over here and also a darker side over here at the same time we have to make sure that both side of the screen is properly lit and having the same sh the same shade of green and then the second lighting is for the subject and today we are using three point lighting as you know, three point lighting consists of key light, field light, and backlight. So, for the purpose of this shooting, we are using a key light from this light here, and also my field light come from this light over here. All right. In terms of placement of the subject, it is important to make sure that the subject is placed six feet further away from the green screen. This is because we need to make sure that the cast shadow of the subject does not fall on the screen. For example, like this. If you, if I'm moving closer to the screen, my shadow will cast on the screen. So you have to make sure that your subject is placed further away from the screen so that the shadow will cast onto the floor or the area that you do not want, uh, you do not need for, I mean, in the area that is not visible in the frame of the camera all right and then we have to make sure as well that the, the the subject does not stand too close to the screen because the color of the the green the green color from the screen can feel can spill onto your subject so by having the subject further away from the screen we can eliminate this spill on the green spill on your subject so you will get a cleaner chroma key when you do the editing all right and then other than that today we are also using a teleprompter okay if i move over here you can see a teleprompter helps me in presenting to you information about green screen all right this teleprompter is normally used when we have virtual studio by using a green screen. So the teleprompter helps me in providing information and giving me a script that I can read. This, the teleprompter normally consists of a tripod, a screen, and also a reflective mirror. So the screen is connected to a desktop or a computer or a laptop that can cast a script onto the screen and then the script will be reflected to the reflective mirror 
and then the subject can read from in front of the green screen and give you the message or delivering you the news or speech all right that is all for today about your usage of green screen virtual studio and also teleprompter until we meet again thank you